Right, I want to look at uh, repairing skin blemishes without uh, removing any of the skin's integrity. That means we're not going to go all blurry and smeary. We're going to get in there and we're going to use some uh, the spot healing brush and we're going to use some blend mode so that all these little bits and pieces in here, uh, we can take them out and uh, retain all the skin's integrity. I'm going to call up a layer and I'm going to uh, call it, surprisingly enough, a repair <laughs> layer. I'm so fast at typing on it. A repair layer, yeah, so we're going to do all the repairing in one layer. Uh, we're going to choose the spot healing brush, which is over there. Uh, keep the blend mode in uh, light, and we've got other methods. Here we go to darken. Let's Why not try darken? So let's try darken. We're going to go content aware. We're going to sample all the layers. So with uh, the spot healing brush in CS6, we can sample all the layers. And uh, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to paint on these lighter areas. So the spot healing brush is in a dark and blend mode. So it's only going to darken things. Uh, we can paint over things which are dark and it'll retain them. Uh, it'll just wipe out and clean out uh, those lighter areas whilst retaining uh, the skin detail. So this is not a, a smeary blur overlay uh, layer which just blurs everything and, and uh, gives that plastic look. We're retaining uh, skin uh, texture in here. Let's just go on and off and see what it looks like before and after. So really we're just uh, darkening off those lighter areas uh, uh, but uh, retaining the darker areas in this uh, repair layer that we're doing here which is uh, uh, in Adobe Photoshop CS6. Uh, we can also go to light and blend mode. So on the same repair layer, using the spot healing brush, we can go back in again. So we're not changing layers, we've not got multiple layers, it's just the one simple layer over the top. And we can waft around with the old sample, uh, sort of the uh, spot healing brush in here, uh, painting away. Oh, it's so exciting watching somebody paint. Uh, but it's showing it that uh, on one layer, we can do all our repair work and uh, retain the skin detail. Most important thing, uh, we don't all look like uh, mannequins. We are human, we've got uh, funny gnarly knobbly skin. Uh, this is retaining some of that skin texture in there. And of course, you can always play with that opacity slider, fine tune it, bring some of it up, bring some of it back, take some of it away. Uh, let's move up here and look in this bit of skin here. Uh, you can see uh, there are some dark areas. I'm going to take this back to 100% because I want to uh, see what it looks like. Let's go in Control plus Command plus just to take it in a bit tighter. So we're really uh, highly magnified at the moment. I'm at 200% on quite a large file. Um, I'm in light and blend mode. I'm just going to reduce the size of my uh, spot healing brush by using these square brackets. And I'm just going to paint over these darker areas. And you can see as I paint over the dark areas, the actual lighter hair bits uh, 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 remain. Uh, so we're doing, we're keeping that uh, uh, integrity of the skin texture on, uh, but taking away these little dark blotches, and just working, working, working the image. And some down here as well, and uh, using ver a very small brush uh, in the spot tin. You can see there, if we go over and try and paint out that one, we'd have to go back and change the blend mode of the brush retain the normal blend mode and then take it out and it's all on one layer so you can keep change the blend mode of your spot healing brush you see I've gone over there it's looking a bit smeary I don't quite like it let's look at before and after I want to retain those hairs so I've got my history option let's just uh, click on that and go back into history and I'll go back those few steps and I've uh, gone back to where the uh, skin was before so if you do make a mistake don't forget to go back in your history click on a few states and then start repairing again. Now, we're in dark and again, I just want to clear up these little spots which are under the eyes and you can drag down, if we do a long one like that, it'll only uh, take out the lighter bits. You're letting Photoshop do a lot of the work for you, you're just enabling the areas with the spot healing brush uh, to be repaired and Photoshop is doing the rest for you. You see there's a dark spot, it won't affect it whatsoever. So we could spend hours in here. <laughs> I'm sure you could spend hours retouching skin. Uh, just uh, It's just one of those methods which you can uh, do to uh, retain that skin integrity, um, not to make some look plasticized. That's what the uh, retouching on its separate layer looks like. Smeary bleary, it looks like little sausages in there. Let's click the background layer back on again. But as soon as you do that, it actually is repairing. And you can see there, we've retained uh, a lot of the hair and the pore detail in the skin there. Uh, let's go back out uh, Control O Commando to full size. 
You can't really see it on there, but it is act, um, uh, making your portraits look a lot better. Uh, and that's been me. So I uh, uh, hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, until the next time uh, from me, that's uh, bye for now. <laughs>